Hello and welcome guys, today we're going to do a tutorial on the Multimesh Instance 3D node in Godot. So the Multimesh Instance um, node allows us to render many or thousands or tens of thousands of um, objects on the screen without it affecting performance much. So um, it allows us to instance uh, models and then um, use using the same data to render um, on the GPU um, the same object in patches um, so I've added a um, I got a few 3D models over here a palm tree and a crate uh, we can open it up this is the crate and then I have a palm tree so we're going to set it up to render these uh, objects so what you're going to do is we're going to create a script um, well, let's first create a folder call it scripts and then we'll create a script call it uh, instance manager and then um, we'll open the script up remove all of this except for the ready we're going to use the ready and then we're going to inherit instead of the node we're going to edit it from multi uh, multi mesh instance 3d and then save that and then go into the 3d scene create a 3d node change it to multi mesh instance 3d and then drag the script onto the node and we'll just call this uh, instance manager and then um, over here um, on the node if you click on the node you're going to go to the uh, inspector over here and set the resource rate the resource set the transform format to 3d and then you can see there's a couple of variables here so we got to, we have to set the mesh over here you can set it to any of these simple meshes um, I can set it to a box mesh for example and it will enter this box mesh thousands of times but in order to uh, render the box we have to uh, set the, the data of this um, resource so that we have to set the positions of each box box mesh that we want to render and we've got to set the transforms up so to do that we're going to do we're going to need to uh, edit the script so that we can do that so um, over here we can um, set the multi mesh count instance count to uh, a value let's say we'll create a length over here a length variable over here uh, let's create it a constant let's set it to um, 32 and then we'll we're going to render it um, in a grid so we'll multiply this by a length again and then over here we can create a loop uh, for x in length uh, oops for x in length spelling mistake for x in length for z in length we'll create the transform transform 3d equals transform 3d 
still add in the basis as in the basis dot identity identity that will create the default um, basis settings um, and then we'll create the we'll set the position over here so vector three x plus let's say 1.5 times x uh, y will be 0 and then the z of the position will be uh, minus uh, z plus 1.5 Times head. Okay, so what's the problem over here? Yeah, the, re remove the bar over there because it's a constant. Uh, save the script. Then we gotta we gotta use the multi mesh instance. Multi mesh. This comes. This multi mesh uh, variable comes with this built-in class. So we we using the variable from the inherited inherited class. Multi mesh instance dot set uh, instance. So, so you see, you can set a bunch of things. We're just going to set the transform. So multi mesh instance dot set instance transform, and then we'll pass in the index. But uh, we gotta create the index variable store so we'll pass that in and then we'll pass in the transform so we can create the we can create the uh, the index variable over here set it to zero and then as we loop we will index plus equal one and then uh, we still have to save save the script and then save the the scene. We still have to save the scene, so we'll just save it uh, as main. And then let's see. This should work, I think. We run that. Select the current paint scene. But we haven't added a camera, so let's let's create another scene here. Uh, so let's just add a camera to this. Okay, let's make a main scene. I think it's going to be much better. Add in a camera. Camera 3D. Position it put back and up and rotate it a little bit down so that we can see and then we'll add this or we'll rename this we'll um, save use save as instead and then we'll delete that main we'll just name this label one And then we'll delete this main scene and then add this level one to um, oops. Let's just create that scene again. I accidentally deleted it. We'll call this one the main scene, add in the camera again. Camera 3D, move it back, move it up, rotate down, or move it a bit more back, up, and then we'll save this as main. Go to project, project settings, and then um, in the run, or which window is it now? The main scene in the run, set it over here to main, 
close that and we'll add in level one over here uh, whoops. undo that add in level one save that add in a world a sun and a world over here with these three dots the sun in the world save that and then run that and it's rendering the cubes so we'll just position the camera a little bit to the left put back and up run that again so you can see it's rendering a bunch of cubes so what you can do is you can open up one of these palm trees in a new narrative scene and then we can edit this make this unique and then set the surface over here we're just going to set the, the texture it will make this unique as well we'll go to the albedo and then I'm just going to set the texture now we have a tree and what you do is you go over here to the top you click this arrow over here on the side and say save as we're going to the meshes folder that I created earlier and say this is the tree and then if we go into the level one the mesh the instance manager we can remove this cube and uh, use quick load to load in our tree and now if we save this and run this we are instead rendering the trees so that is the basic uh, that, that is the tutorial we're just going to move this camera a little bit back and up see if we can get a better view so there it's rendering a bunch of trees now we can render much more if we want to we can just set the the length to let's say 64 and we can print out the count uh, mesh ultimesh dot instance count and we'll wrap, we'll wrap that into a string add meshes we'll print that and now we're rendering 4096 trees so that's the end of the video guys thanks for watching um, and thanks for watching guys and I'll and I'll see you in the next video